How much I'd watch? God damn it. So depressing. So did you hear about the 10-year-old girl who was denied an abortion in Ohio? So uh, as you know, the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. They took a woman's right to choose from her. And so all these states had grandfathered bills that they passed long ago that said, hey, if the Supreme Court ever overturns Roe versus Wade, these laws go into effect immediately and immediately abortion is going to be banned. And that's what happened in Ohio. A 10-year-old girl was denied an abortion in Ohio after the Supreme Court ruled last week that it was overturning Roe v. Wade, demonstrating the tangible impacts that the high court's decision is having on patients seeking access to the medical procedure. Yeah, little 10-year-old girl, rape, sexual assault, in Ohio, going to force you to have your rapist baby, even if you're a child yourself. It's amazing how fast this goddamn country is just crumbling. These evil sons of fucks. So they straight up asked. The governor of South Dakota, Christy Nome. Hey, your state has exactly the same thing. The exact same laws as Ohio. Are you going to force 10-year-olds to carry the baby of their rapist? And you'll notice how she doesn't want to answer the question. She's dipping, dodging, diving. But ultimately, the answer is yes. Let me ask you about that. The Indianapolis Star is reporting that a 10-year-old girl in Ohio who was six weeks and three days pregnant now has to travel across state lines to Indiana to receive an abortion. So I just, Mm -hmm. because this is a trigger law that was passed before you became governor, I wanted you to be clear. Will the state of South Dakota going forward force a 10-year-old in that very same situation to have a baby? Yes. You know what I think is incredible, Dana, in this tragic story? Because I heard about this last night. What's incredible is that nobody's talking about the pervert, Dodge. horrible, right. into the ranged individual that raped a 10-year-old. Yes, they are. And what, is, what are we doing about that? I agree. What with you. Yes, we're talking about it continuously. And we're saying, hey, maybe we should allow rapists to choose who they want to have their babies. Maybe we shouldn't force 10-year-olds to have a baby of this son of a fucking bitch, this evil shit stain. Hey, maybe? Nope. According to her, Hey, it's an opportunity. Shh. Gotta have your rapist baby. I, I mean, of course, that's, that that's, that is children. an important discussion you, to have. You but, rape but children, the, this, that's an issue that the Supreme yeah, Court has weighed in as I, well. Listen, I totally understand that. as much as we talk that, about our, what we can do for that little girl, I think we also need to be addressing those sick individuals that do right. this to our children. I dodge, totally dodge, agree. Dodge, so dodge. Our bodies are our bodies. Answer the question, women bitch. Are the ones who, uh, who get pregnant. And in this case, it wasn't a woman. It was a girl. Should she have to have a child? child. A child. Should she have to have that baby? Every single life, every single life is precious. This tragedy is horrific. I can't even imagine. I've never had anybody in my family or myself go through anything like this. I can't even imagine. But in South Dakota, the law today is that the abortions are illegal except to save the life of the mother. And you would be okay with that? A 10 year old girl having to have a baby? No, I'm never okay with that. In fact, that's what will keep me up at night. You're literally okay with it. You're basically saying, hey, the law is what it is. She has to have the rapist baby. How can you get more okay with than that? Absolutely. So well. will you try to change the law? No, she won't. An exception of, a in a situation like this? Got a, one, got a one-year-old little granddaughter mm-hmm. named Miss Addie. I can't even imagine. What I would say is I don't believe a tragic situation should be perpetuated by another tragedy. And so there's more that we've got to do to make sure that we really are living a life that says every life is precious, especially innocent lives that have been shattered like that 10-year-old girl. Yeah, her life has been shattered. So let's make her have a baby she doesn't want. Let's have her carry it. I'm sure that'll be super good for her life. God damn, we're so evil in this country. And it gets fucking worse, folks. Here's uh, Gene Schmidt. Gene Schmidt, uh, American politician who is a state resident in Ohio. Okay, yes, Ohio. So this is one of the incredible, disgusting, evil human beings that's causing a 10-year-old to carry her rapist baby. And they ask her directly what she thinks about it. Here's her response. It is a shame that it happens, but there's an opportunity for that woman, no matter how young or old she is. Yeah, it's an opportunity. Hey, rape. 
It's an opportunity from God. It's basically a blessing. Why are you shunning God's blessings? He wanted you to be raped. To make a determination about what she's going to do to help that life be a productive human being. She can choose to raise the child. She can choose to give that child to a loving family member. Fucking sea hag. Or to give it to someone else. And that child can grow up and be something magnificent. Yeah, that child can go out to get raped themselves and have to carry a baby they don't want. Super cool. A wonderful family person, a cure cancer, et cetera. Uh, well, they might grow up to be Hitler, so abort. This is not about keeping abortion alive. This is about keeping the mother alive. And just because the fuck? you have emotional scars doesn't give you the right, right to take the life. So fucking disgusting. And she's also said that she'd be open to banning birth control, banning contraception. They want to force everybody to have babies. We're overpopulated enough. We don't need to have tons of fucking babies that people don't want to raise. There's already millions of them in foster care, in the orphanages. I've got the fucking ones already out there. I know that on that day, when I finally have my say, the world will hear me. Cause I'm gonna shout it.